Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, what is your personal brand? We're going to be speaking to a branding expert who's going to teach you how to walk into your greatness. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So as the owner of a marketing firm, I'm passionate about branding, but so many people think the brand is a logo. No, it's not a, it's not a logo, it's not a slogan on a wall in your break room. You have a personal brand. And somebody who knows a lot about that, Jonathan George, the human hit maker. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, it's good to be here, Jeff. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thrilled and I, and I love it because you're a branding guy, so you walk your talk and I love the hat. <laughs> when, when you're on an elevator, people are like, you're somebody, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's incredible when you know who you are and know, I mean, brand identity, you know, which is not something I spend tons of time on, but because I believe that when people get to know who you are on the inside, that's what matters the most. And so, but brand identity should be a reflection of who you are inside. Absolutely. 100%, yeah. So tell me about the clients you like to work with. Well, you know, I spent in 2000, I moved to LA and I've worked with, I mean, bringing up the, some of the top young talent in the entertainment industry, but celebrities, CEOs now uh, working with entrepreneurs, people who are really impact driven, some people who are wanting to make a difference and they want to utilize their personal brand to scale that impact. So that those are the people, man, that I want to work with. Those are the people yeah. who come into my fold. And you got a taste of this very early. Uh, I want you to set up this clip we're about to show. Uh, Ed McMahon, who everybody remembers from the Johnny Carson Tonight Show. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ed McMahon uh, invites you on a show called The Next Big Star. Yeah. So I was uh, the grand champion winner uh, came in there. I was a singer. That's why I moved to L.A. I mean, I, I was a recording artist. And funny thing you're talking about the style was that I was at a birthday party with Janet Jackson, at her birthday party. And my manager introduced me to an A&R. A&R is the person, is the gatekeeper to the record labels. And this guy, I walked away and the guy told my manager, said, uh, there's nothing really memorable about him. Hashtag rude. <laughs> but that kicked me in gear. That challenged me to be like, who am I? How do I stand out in the world? Uh, when the, I always talk about how do you become the yellow, uh, the blue, blue duck in a sea of yellow ducks. Yes. And so, you know, that was one of the big things. But um, I did step onto Next Big Star with Ed McMahon and became the grand champion winner, becoming, um, you know, it was a, an incredible experience. Yeah. Outstanding. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Live from the Ed McMahon Next Big Star Theater at the MGM Grand, the city of entertainment, Las Vegas, here are the Next Big Stars. Well, in head-to-head -head competition, two electrifying male performers. Our next performer hails from Dallas, Texas. We'll be singing an original song. Please welcome Jonathan George. We've gone our separate ways. Never leave my mind, oh, and my heart longs for the days that you were in my arms to hold and caress. I'm losing all my selfish way, and all my love can be. Please welcome all Jonathan Joy. All my pride, and I'm asking you back. A brand new start, and yes, I, I do. Like and I let you walk away. I need your love, so baby. Here he 
is singing his original song. Welcome to the stage, L.A.'s own Jonathan George. Baby, baby, stay, stay, oh, stay, please, baby, please, stay. Oh. Our audience is now going to vote for their favorite male performer. Will it be Jonathan now George or Antoine Robinson? Will it be Jonathan George or Midget? Jonathan George or John West? Vote now. The champion is Jonathan George. Yes. Jonathan George. Jonathan George. Tonight's champion male performer is Jonathan George. Jonathan George. Jonathan, that's three championships for you. You did very well tonight. You beat the big champ. Oh my God, I'm shaking. I'm shaking bacon. I'm you, so excited. Ray, tell, me, <laughs> tell me how you're feeling right now. Oh my God. Is that peeing on myself? Wow, that had to be... Okay, I, I, now you're watching this for the first time in years. It's not yeah. like you go back and watch this episode. Uh, when you were watching yourself, what, what were you thinking? That's like watching yourself in diapers, you know, like doing <laughs> stuff, you know, but... Wow, that was that brought back a lot of memories and, and an incredible time in my life. It was incredible. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you go from that to now helping others uh, establish their own brand? So, after that, I had a record deal on the table. I had just released my first single. I uh, was working on my album, and I get a call from the record label, and they retracted the contract because they found out that I was gay. And it took me down this journey and this path of you're not good enough. And it, my team tried to get me married. They tried to change my music. They tried to change my style. It, basically, everything about me. And it took me back to being that kid who was relentlessly bullied for being the creative kid, the kid with the jazz fingers in life. You know what I mean? And uh, my dad's a Pentecostal pastor here in Dallas. And, and so I went through a lot of spiritual abuse. And, you know, just I want to say really quickly that my family is amazing. My dad, my family are, are all loving and caring people. But I did go through a lot of spiritual abuse because I was in the ministry. And so um, with that, I didn't know who I was or how to show up in the world. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to become the kind of coach that I need so badly. I needed people to help me rock my authentic person, the person inside, rather than trying to change me and make me different from who I am. And so I just started on a path to help all these young people get to where they are and today. Now my clients have over 150 million online followers and all I can say is, how do you like those jazz figures now, baby? <laughs> you know what I mean? And so it's like, uh, it's, so it's just, I, it, but I, the reality is, is that I've always loved helping people and helping people get to their best spot in their life and become a true rock star in their own right. Yes. And so it doesn't really matter your talents, your bills, abilities or skills. I want to see you get there. Okay, we're going to watch his sizzle reel and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Let's go ahead and roll that. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan George and I am CEO of JG Entertainment right here in Los Angeles. I'm the guy that they call to make someone a superstar. I have been doing this for the entertainment world for 20 years and now I've turned my sights for the rest of the world. I want to help you walk in your greatness. I want to see you walk in your full potential. I want you to understand your true essence, who your true being is, to understand what your personal brand is so that you can become financially independent from working in a world that is for everybody else other than yourself. I want you to be able to have a message and to have a voice for the world to hear, to see, and to love, and to accept. I am so excited to share all of this information with you guys right here on YouTube. I am putting out so much content, all of the secrets, all the secrets to success, all the things that I pour into people every single day. People pay me a lot of money in order to bring the greatness out of them. 
And so I am bringing this to you right here on YouTube. So make sure that you are watching the videos, that you are subscribing below, that you are checking in with me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you guys are on social media, on Snapchat even. Let's go and take this world by storm. I wanna see you walking your complete 100% greatness. Okay, so you've also uh, transitioned into helping CEOs because CEOs yeah. need to be rock stars of their industry yes, as well. Yes. So JG Entertainment was what the company I had forever, and um, and we trained all the top young talent. And about six years ago, I was like, I know that I'm, I want to help people on a bigger scale, impact more people. And so then I started transitioning to working with CEOs, entrepreneurs. We build out their business brands and then we build out their personal brands to scale the business brands because, you know, what other greater way to scale your business is through your own self. Absolutely. And I urge you to follow uh, Jonathan George on social media. He has all these wonderful tip videos. Let's go ahead and roll one. What's up guys, Jonathan George here and I am in Costa Rica and I just have to say that this whole trip has been about mindset for so many people who have been with us. And the mind is such a powerful tool and such a powerful thing. People being so scared. I just climbed up, I don't know, all the way, hiked from this big waterfall and I'm dying right now. But watching people do extreme things that they're fearful of and how they're able to get through this stuff. It's all about mindset. It's all about changing how you think. It's just like, you know, when you see somebody in a swimsuit, a girl in a bathing suit, nobody thinks anything about it if you're at the beach. But as soon as you get away from the beach 10, 100 feet, they're like, oh my God, she's wearing a bra and panty. It is the same exact thing and it actually is covering more than the swimsuit. It's about mindset. We get crazy things and thoughts in our heads about certain things. Um, that really control us and fear is one of the greatest things that keeps us from our greatness, keeping us from the things that are very powerful in our life. And I just wanna say, get out and do things that scare you. Get out there and do something that really truly scares you, something that you're scared of. If it's holding a snake, go out and hold some snakes. You'll get through it. And I promise once you're done climbing, I mean, we have zip line from the mountains, we have white water raft, we have uh, swam in deep crazy water we've done some amazing things in Costa Rica I mean this view is just unbelievable but you truly have to get over fears in order to be able to move into greatness in your life and it's just like word association things that you really feel in your like words that mean something to you change the meaning of that word don't get so don't get so connected to things in your life that you can't move forward and you can't do great things because of the fear the things that you associate things that your mindset is sitting there it, it holds on to a certain word that really you know i hear all the time about people you know like getting freaked out about words and somebody said something it offended them or whatever because of a word don't get associated so strong with words don't get associated with feelings and emotions that it controls you get out there and change your life and get over your fears. All right, blessings. Bye. So cool. So I want to get a feel for what it's like to work with you. If if there's a CEO watching this or somebody who's kind of on the rise with their, you know, uh, performing career and they call you or they hit you up on your website, what's the next step? I mean, you get on a Zoom call with them, what happens? Yeah, of course, um, you know, just kind of the basic things, but getting to know a person and doing the deep dive into who a person is inside, number one, getting clarity on really what it is that they want to do. Because I think as creatives, as entrepreneurs, we're, our brains are super hyper creative, right? You think about how many things you want to do. But when you can get hyper focused on that one thing, this is what we're going after, then we can build out the personal brand to scale that business brand. And sure. so, you know, one of the things we were talking about, so funny we're seeing these videos and, and different things because when I was started out on this path and this journey, I was building all this content out there and I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I just knew that I wanted to help people, people on a greater scale. And so, you know, if we can get people 
focused, then we can get to where we want to go. But one of the things we were talking about was the, one num the number one tool that we use is your story to get you to where you want to go. And this is the power of the story. One of my clients, Harper Grace, if you look her up, she's the national, worst national anthem singer at 11 years old. It, I mean, it was a horrible performance. And she didn't know who she was. And she, I mean, wanted to quit singing. Super talented girl. It was just a really bad situation. And she just was on the Today Show. Monday Today Show, right? Uh, performing her song, Oh Say Can You See? Talking to her younger self. Can you see who you are in the past? And if you could only see where you are now you would never give up, right? It's this amazing song. But Monday morning, she's a, sing a country singer, beautiful blonde country singer, singer, shared her story. Friday, today's show, one of my other artists, Ashley Cook, was on the Today Show. Blonde, country singer, talented, beautiful, all the things, right? But when I posted and shared people's videos, who do you think got the most views? The one who shared the story. Harper's story drove people so such a heart connection to her, yes. which creates a bigger fan base, right? And I mean, even though they're both blowing up right now on the country in the country world, doing incredibly well, it's your story that will always drive people to want to uh, promote you, work with you. Uh, become your biggest fan and who will also want to do business with you and will buy continuously from you because they see who you are on the inside 100% wow. of the time. What a beautiful way to end this segment. We're also going to leave you with his website, which is unleashyourrockstar.com. The great Jonathan George. Thanks for coming on the show. That's it for now. We'll see you Thank next you. time.